Okay guys, I'm gonna show today one of my favorite takedowns. Uh, maybe it's one of my favorites because I hit this takedown probably more than any other takedown. And it can be done on the ground from different positions and it can be standing from different positions. And it's the collar drag. And the collar drag it works similar in a lot of dynamics to the arm drag. So um, you can apply a lot of the same mechanics to it uh, either way. Um, usually a good way to set this up from standing is if I either intercept his hand coming in this side and get my sleeve grip first, or I break his grip here and keep that sleeve and then I shoot in to get this one on his collar. So once I have these two grips established, now the problem is this arm. Do I go under, do I go over, uh, does it matter? And what I found works for me best and sets me up best in the position once we land is to do it, throw, throw it like a hook shot over my head. So if we're here playing this way, I wanna get squatted position and then whenever I go to throw, I'm gonna pull this back to my hip here like a karate reverse punch and I want to throw the other one over my head this way. Now, it'd be nice if I can just make him kind of face plant into the floor, and then whenever I come up, if he lands this way facing me, like this, then I wanna collapse the legs down, and I wanna face inside here like this and try to get up and establish my top side control position. He may land in a, different, uh, a couple different ways. That's a really good one if I can make him land flat and then roll him over, be top side control. I got my good takedown, I got my good top position. Now, another thing that might happen though, he may land in more of a turtle position whenever this happens. If, that, if that's the case, Whenever I go, I step in, sweep through, and he lands in more of a turtle position. So I may come straight up and start looking to hunt the back, or I may go right here around his leg this way, so that if he does want to turn and face me, I'm already kind of scissored in on the legs here to prevent the guard replacement or any kind of like a, a good guard work from him, and then face here this way and start moving up so that I uh, avoid him replacing the guard. Oh. Another one that might happen though on a different level is like what if I go to throw it and he just, I kind of screw it up a little bit and he kind of steps over my leg this way here. So this is maybe not the best thing to happen for me because now he can start to turn and face me. So I don't want this to happen necessarily, but I want to be able to make the best if this does happen. So I'm going to keep a hold of that collar in this case and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna come up. Once I slide through this way, I wanna pivot on this knee, come up and hug the leg, and put my head right here into his ribs, this way. From there, I wanna go pick the leg up here this way, continue pulling him this direction, and then turn. So I start here, pull, get him hopping this way, and then turn this way here to get him on the takedown, and then I'm in a good position to set up my knee cut pass or whatever kind of open guard pass that I need at that point or maybe it's him on his knees, playing more of a butterfly guard type position. So this is something good to do right off the bat. Again, if I can kind of block this, get this collar sleeve inside, um, whether he's working on passing my butterfly guard or whatever, if I can get here, I'm gonna take this foot out of the middle and I wanna pull these past. And it's very important that whenever I land here that I'm facing him this way. The most common mistake that people make on this is that they fall to their shoulder and then he stays in this angle where he's gonna be able to establish the top position easier than I can. So something that's better than that is if I throw this pass, sweep here, and I stay on my elbow this direction, I'm hooking inside his leg, and so I'm right here to be able to come up and start establishing my back take position for him right there. So again, guys, once you get the basic mechanics down about this collar drag, and you figure out how to time your grip, how to get that sleeve grip, how to prevent his counters to it a little bit, just like with any kind of takedown, of course, but this one is a very high percentage one. It's very uh, difficult, even once you get those attachments for him to defend against. So thank you guys. Uh, let me know if you have success with it. Let me know if you use any kind of variations about it. Um, and also there's a lot of good combinations and stuff too. So uh, try it out, see what you like about it, train safely, and uh, thanks for watching. Yeah.